guys, what's up? Chris here from NBAWithChris.com. Day 55, double fives. Uh, this morning, I woke up, went to community service day at Buffalo State. And that was, I got up at 8, which is before I normally get up. A lot of the times I go to bed at like 3 or 4. Last night I went to bed at 3. So I got up, went, and I kind of, I actually enjoyed community service day because we... Got to do something good for the community, kind of give back. We were working on a park. Uh, it was really, it was just plain shitty, like terrible, not very taken care of. There was a nice field that was all green grass and all that. Um, but the corners of the field had everything from like full garbage bags, like buried underneath layers of dirt. Uh, we probably found what, over 200 chip bags or just emptied laying out on the ground and stuff. Uh, as well as we found this huge knife, like, yeah, about the size of my head. It was like that big. The handle was about this big, so normal sized handle for like a kitchen knife, about that. And the blade was like this big. Uh, and one of the kids that was doing it, I was, I was over on the other side and I was just digging shit up kind of throwing it in garbage bags, pick up. This kid's like, whoa! And I look over, and the guy who was kind of doing it with us, who was uh, just one of the local community members, he's like, what'd you find, what'd you find? He, he's like, he walked over, and he's like, oh, a knife, and he held up the knife. He's like, put it down. Freaked out a little bit, threw it down to the ground. And he, the guy, his name was Larry, he comes over, he's like, oh, wow. I thought that you had found, like, a hand or something. I was like, are you serious? You thought that there was going to be, like, a hand buried? But it's, like, kind of the ghetto-ish area of Buffalo that we were working in. Um, people were out on their porch, like, watching us clean up. I made friends with some of the guys who were sitting there because they're like, what are you doing this for? And I was like, oh, kind of giving back to the community. Uh, Buffalo State's trying to do something good. And... I like to kind of help out as much as I can because I don't have a lot of money to donate. I do have some free time that I can kind of help people with, which is, I don't know, anyone can donate time. I mean, we all have a couple hours a day to just do that kind of stuff. But all morning I was like lifting up logs and like duh, chucking them, like moving piles of leaves. And uh, I was working with, it was me and like, Two other guys who were uh, together, like, gay or whatever. I don't really care. And so it was good for me because I was with, like, eight or nine other girls. And I'm, like, living it up, just wandering around talking to all different groups and stuff. And I went with my one friend, Meryl, and my ex-girlfriends. And I don't know, she was just like, okay, here's all the girls. And I'm like, thanks. So I'm walking around carrying all the bags and we had to move bags of like leaves bags of garbage carrying a little while like down to the road and stuff so of course I'm like carrying them all I'm like oh this is my workout for the day and like curling them on the walk and stuff just because I figure it's a good way to kind of it's a real world application of what we're doing in P90X so I figured you know what why not take advantage of it but I'm kind of tired from that and I'm just getting ready to do my yoga workout now. This is the first, well, one of the times I'm going to do a little switch up, reversal action. Uh, I'm going to still probably be showing some clips. I don't think I'm going to do the whole workout. I'll probably post on the blog at p90xwithchris.com. If I did the whole workout, I'll probably stop. Like I might do the first like 25 minutes and then the last 25 minutes just kind of get a good warm up, good cool down because I literally did a full body workout today. I was like bending over, picking stuff up. Uh, I, I do need the stretches though because I'm I'm already feeling a little sore. And I probably, the guy's like, oh, you're going to need help with moving their huge stumps. And I'm like thinking to myself, I'm like, I've been doing P90X. I'm like lifting them up. I'm like, oh, I'm carrying them over. And like, oh, I just, I felt good. I was like, yes, it's been paying off. Before, I wouldn't have been able to lift that up. So, that was what I did this morning from 8.30 until about 1. 
It's a five right now, so I'm getting ready to do the workout, so I'll be done by like 6.30. And then uh, I actually read another book today. I finished uh, Mastering Your Sales Process by David Massiver, who was kind enough to share with me the book, a pre-publication copy, and he wants me to do a review on my marketing blog. So I'm doing that kind of uh, in exchange for the free book because normally... I buy more books in one month than all of my friends have bought in the past two, three, four, five, six semesters, but I'm obsessed with learning, so whatever. That's part of who I am. Um, not sure what else to share with you guys today. I, I actually, last night was a Friday night. I got invited to a party, and they're drinking for the Sabres game, but I... I don't know, I spent like 60 bucks on Wednesday night for my buddy Adam's birthday, which was the late night Kempo session I had. I did Kempo at like 11, and I spent like 60 bucks on his birthday for like buying him drinks, and just, we bought him a Nerf gun, so he has a Nerf gun now, because my other roommates and I all have one, so we figured, you know, it would be a nice little gift for him, but it's not really much else. I... I didn't go to the party because I ended up doing something that's kind of productive for me. I got homework done so that tonight, I, I might go out tonight, I'm not sure yet. I probably won't because I've been not in the mood to drink lately. I'll probably just have someone come over and hang out. Uh, might even just stay in and do more homework to get ahead because the finals are coming up and I need to get... I've been trying to get in gear so that I can ace all my finals and be like, yeah, <laughs> kick ass. Uh, but I'm not sure what else to share with you guys. I, I'm i going to hope I get through this workout. If I don't, I'll let you guys know. I'll post a little blurb. I'll just write stuff up on my blog to kind of let you know what I did, what I didn't do. Because you guys might have similar things that come up. And it isn't always easy to do the full workouts. And even though I'm 55 days in, I still get tired from doing things. I have a lot more energy, but I still get tired from doing things. So I hope that this video is a little different, gets you maybe thinking about doing something good for the community, giving back a little. If you're a college kid like me, this is a great way to give back because it's simple, yet uh, they're going to turn that park into a baseball field as well as a football field for like the small fry football teams and I want them to turn it into like a soccer field or something but I don't have control of it but it's good to get the kids active in the community because it's not the greatest of areas and if they can turn that park into a good area then you know that's part of my personal goal of impacting over 1 million people in my life which is yeah screw it. I'll I share these things on my marketing blog. It's one of my personal goals in my life to influence over 1 million people to kind of help enhance their life or whether it's like making them money, making them happier, uh, just doing any little things I can to help people kind of live a better life because the more people I can help, uh, it just gives me like a warm feeling in my heart and like stomach and it puts a smile on my face so I enjoy doing it. But this video is long. It's me just standing here talking. And you know what? I'm fine with that. If you guys don't like it, let me know. I just thought I'd do a little different today. This is nine minutes of Chris Hughes talking about my life. Uh, if you have questions, as always, go to my blog, p90xwithchris.com. Ask away. Uh, sign up for the newsletter. I'll be sending out like health stuff for you that might help you out, get your mind racing. If you want business advice, if you need anything, let me know. I'm here to help and I love to help. So I'll see you guys all tomorrow. All right. Have a good one.